Hi, I'm Cooper from Sweets Kanamas. Today I'm using a prime triple stripe kanama, and I'm going to be teaching you how to do a bird. First step for the bird is you need to know how to do a pull-up spike. The bird and the pull-up spike have the same exact mechanics, so if you know how to pull-up spike, you're going to be able to bird pretty easily. First step to the bird is just like a pull-up spike, you want to make sure that the tama is not wiggling whatsoever. But for the bird, it's even more important because if it's wiggling at all and you pull it up, it's just not going to work and the hole is not going to be in the right spot. So be patient, reset it every time, make sure it's not wiggling and you'll be good. Second step, instead of pointing the spike straight up in the air like a pull-up spike, you're going to be pointing it slightly forward, just slightly though. This will make it so you can perch the bird on the cup easier. Next step, just like a pull-up spike, pull it straight up. Now, instead of catching it on the spike, you're going to perch it right in between the cup and the spike, and it's going to be leaning forward since you already started it leaning forward on the spike, and it should balance. To help you out with balancing the bird out, if you watch when you pull it up, there's a point where the tama isn't either going up or down. It's right in the middle. That's exactly when you want to catch the bird, because if you catch it too late and it plops down, it's going to be a lot harder to land, and if you catch it too early while it's going up, it's going to be hard to land too. So get it right at the top. So since you have it in Ken grip right now, your thumb should be right underneath the big cup. A good way to think about it is you can imagine that your thumb is the big cup and you kind of put your thumb right under the hole and it should go in the right spot every time. Along with catching the tom at its peak, you want to use your knees as much as you can to cushion the catch of the dama. Having a light grip on your Ken, not a fidgety, really rigid grip, having a light grip will also help you ease into the catch of the bird. Looks like this. Catch it right at the peak and ease into it with your knees. When it comes to spiking the bird, there's a couple of things you can do. One way is you can pop it about an inch over the spike and let it fall right on top. It looks like this. Slight pop up, let it fall. Version two is more of a Japanese steeze and you can let it fall onto the spike more of a faster than gravity style. So instead of popping it up, you simply just drop and spike it. So as long as you're patient, resetting the tom every time so it's not wiggling, catching it at the peak each time, and then using your knees and your light grip to cushion down the bird, you should be able to get it pretty consistently and do it a lot. So if you like this tutorial, give us a like below, comment any tricks you want us to land, and subscribe to our channel.